the late Bill Broughton, trombone player from, from the Los Angeles studios, um, he moved to Australia and was a mentor of mine uh, in my late teens. And he always said, if this is right, and this is right, this will be right. You know, and that's something that we can all really remember, you know, and, you know, so your mind has to be right in, um, as, as Tom Hooten said on one of his Instagram lives recently, put our ego aside and think about today's development. You know, if today is not as good as yesterday, don't worry about it. Just chill out, put the ego aside, slow it down a bit, you know, try and take it down the octave. Do, you know, we know a lot of tools and how to make something better, but just go, accept that today is not as good as yesterday. Back it off from yesterday, progress it up slowly um, by putting our ego aside. So that's how we put our mind right. So thinking, thinking in a positive way, how do I make this better? How can I improve this? What is today's improvement? What is today's goal? You know, um, is how we put our mind right. How we yeah. put our heart right is um, through loving the process, loving the music. So making sure that we listen to music that we love here, like listen to music that helps us feel emotions um, and sharing our gift with others. So that's how we get this right. That's how we get this right. And for a lot of people, um, uh, giving, giving thanks to a spiritual higher being is also how to get this right for that, for those sorts of people. Um, and by having that and that, right, this will take care of itself because you've, you've got these two sorted. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. And I, I think, especially as we get to, you know, a, a higher level of skill, I'm not necessarily saying you have to be a world-class player. But when you when you have when you have your fundamentals in place, I think that you know getting the head and the heart is then what separates you from everybody else. Yeah. Because yep. I mean, I know a lot of guys that are that are tremendous players. I mean, they've got all the chops and techniques in the world, but they get in their head. They get in their head so bad, and they just do all kinds of goofy things to basically set themselves up for failure. They they self sabotage. Yeah. Uh, you know, it's like you know, it, I, you know, they're, they're the people that are like are on the the constant uh, equipment hamster wheel. You know, it's yeah. like uh, because like, well, I got to tweak this. I got to I've got to open up this throat. I've got to put this on. Got, and they're they're constantly doing these little things, and sometimes they help, but sometimes they don't help. Uh, instead of just, you know, okay, well, let's, let's just get, get the head clean and, and focus on what we need to do. Mm. And then, you know, other people, their heart isn't right. And, um, you know, I've, I've always said that I would rather, I would rather listen to someone, uh, play who was not a particularly great technician, uh, who had a lot of soul, a lot of heart, uh, mm. in their music, uh, than somebody who could just, you know, blow the hell out of the horn, but there was no, there was no heart to it, you know? And I think that's the hardest part right now, like you're talking about with COVID, that's been one of the hardest things is that for most of us, uh, unless you are just a, you know, a true soloist, uh, most of us, we, we get our joy. A lot of the joy we get out of music is because it's something that we do and engage with in other people being on a bandstand with people. So whether it's playing with a piano accompanist or whether it's playing with a full orchestra behind you, it's the energy that you get from, from being this, uh, taking all these different people and bringing them together to create this one unique moment in time.